This is the latest model I've put on YouTube for you all to see. It's the Mississippi Paddle Steamer Robert E. Lee, which I finished just a few weeks ago. This one has uh, two circuits of lights and uh, a whole pile of passengers fitted to it. It's also fully rigged and we'll go over it bit by bit. Just pan around so you can see it. Right, we've moved the ship around a little bit and we'll start at the bow with the twin anchors and slowly pan it around. You'll see a couple coming down the main stairway. If you pan it around a bit further, you'll see quite a lot of passengers on the lower deck. Right in the very corner, there's a man lying down. Looks as if he's either had too much to drink or he's maybe not feeling very well. There's a ship's crew coming with a, a stretcher to take him back to his cabin. If you pan it around a bit further, you'll see the upper decks are quite well populated. And all in all, it's turned out to be not a too bad a model. Didn't take too long to build either. Okay, we've turned it, in this view we've turned the ship round. So you can see the entire length of the uh, starboard side from bow to stern. Not so many people on this side. But uh, it'll give you an idea of what it looks like. It is, as, I, as I said before, it is fully lit. You'll see the smokestacks with the red and green on, running lights just in a, a few minutes time when I, I light them up. Okay, in this shot I've now illuminated the cabin lights and uh, some of the inside walkway lights. Now it's all done with LEDs. I've used a soft yellow rather than a harsh white. I think it looks better the soft yellow. If you look closely you'll also see the green running light on the starboard smokestack. Again done with a fibre optic cable and a small LED to light it. OK, in this view I've now switched off the cabin lights and I've switched on the outside walkway lights. All the little pinprick lights that you see are strands, single strands of half a millimetre fibre optics. These little tiny lights couldn't be done at all, and not that I can know of anyway, other than with fibre optics, and they came from a, a very, very good friend of mine, Chuck, in California, who sells them on eBay. In this shot, I've now put the cabin lights back on again, and you'll see the difference between the soft yellow cabin lights and the pure white of the outside walkway lights. Makes it quite a difference to have the model lit up, I think. Something different. OK, we've moved the model round and uh, this time you should be able to see the, the cabin lights at the stern of the ship. As I said, it looks it, uh, it certainly brings it to life a little bit better than just an ordinary static ship. The little tiny fibre optic lights really work and I hope you can see them to the best effect. OK, we've shifted the ship round once more. We'll give it a quick pan round for the last time. And uh, hopefully you'll see the red, the red light on the smokestack. I think myself it's turned out to be quite a nice little model. And uh, putting the lights on it certainly brings it to life. There was a fair bit of rigging to do. And in actual fact the rigging took quite a bit of time. Simply due to the fiddly nature of it. But again, without it I think it would have detracted from the model. OK, in this view we've turned the camera around, turned the ship round, mainly to let you see the detail of the rigging. A fair bit of rigging on it. The instructions were rather vague, so I've done what I thought the rigging should go. And, uh, well, I just hope you like it, that's all. Without the rigging, it doesn't look very good. With the rigging, it certainly, you know, brings it a bit more to life. In this view you'll also see a whole lot of passengers in the top view, the bell with the antlers and uh, I think that's just about it folks so any comments please just leave them and we'll take it from there.